Batman trailer has been out for a little bit of time now and I feel like it's good to make a breakdown of this thing. So let's go ahead and talk about what you may have missed. So the trailer starts off, we basically have Bruce Wayne talking to a reporter. This may or may not be Vicki Vale. It would feel a bit weird if they're taking the direction of characters in a lot more of a, well, just making them black. I mean, we have Commissioner Gordon, which is black, which is fine by me. Catwoman's black, which is a bit iffy for me. I mean, Halle Berry, we had that before, so I was able to accept it, but a black Vicky Vale, that might be pushing it a bit. Nonetheless, she's talking about Bruce Wayne's doing nothing. And this is also giving us a couple of clues that's going into the movie that this Bruce Wayne is not doing anything in the public eye. So he's not yet the playboy billionaire that people assume or associate with the Bruce Wayne character. So he hasn't quite developed his Bruce Wayne persona yet. Meanwhile, this discussion's going on. We're having some flashbacks or flash forwards, depending on when this takes place in the movie, of the extended car chase he's having with the Penguin. Now, something that we do get a good look at is the new Batmobile, and I gotta say, this may be my favorite version. It looks entirely functional, it looks practical, and it looks like something that this guy would put together. Like, if he has a muscle car, he's gonna soup it up. Like, that's what's gonna happen. And let's face facts, from Batman Begins, I was never a big fan of how Lucius Fox was giving Batman his technology because I'm like, okay, someone was gonna catch on eventually that, you know, he's using Wayne Tech, like the Tumblr, they built this machine. So when they have this in their archives that this is out there driving around, like that's pretty easy to do, so that's Batman. But nonetheless, I do love the way it looks, just the aesthetic of it. It looks like a modernized version of the Adam West Batmobile and the modernized version will probably be a souped up muscle car. And that works for me personally. And it looks functional. That's the reason why I love it so much, because it's fast, it looks powerful, and it's functional. We do get a shot of a truck tumbling over in front of Batman, and then he has a surprise look, and this shows that this Batman's much more reckless, and he has really no idea what he's doing. And also, that surprise look may also be a reference, or something that's very similar to when Ben Affleck ran into Superman driving the Batmobile during their Batmobile chase and he had a surprised look on his face. Do get a couple of shots of some of the riddles Batman's gonna be solving throughout the movie and we get to see a couple of the traps that he's gonna be trying to take care of and basically what we're getting is Saw Riddler because a lot of these traps are gonna be really bizarre and from one of the descriptions I've seen and the scene that Batman's walking through this area uh, there's gonna be a trap involving rats on a person so that's going to be very interesting to see but as this trailer is called the bat and the cat which is also a reference to the comics called the bat and the cat and the 2004 batman series ironically called the batman where there was an episode called the bat and the cat we do get to see a bit of zoe kravitz and robert pattinson's batman and catwoman dynamic and it feels very comic accurate and it looks like it's going to be a little bit more chemistry than what we've gotten from what Christian Bale's Batman had with his Catwoman. And that's just good because to sell this relationship, you're gonna need good chemistry. And it looks like we're gonna be getting that. If we don't stand up, no one will. You got a lot of cash. Never think about strays. In the trailer, it seems like Riddler has a vendetta that ultimately looks like he's trying to do something that's gonna be seemingly evil, but right to him, which it's gonna be interesting to see them do the whole Wayne storyline, may it be involved with some gangsters, which they might be going in the direction of the Telltale games where Bruce's dad was basically doing a bunch of behind the scenes gangster stuff, working with some of the higher criminal uh, anarchy and stuff like that, or hierarchy, I should say. But they may also go the direction of some of the comics where they have Martha and like Arkham and stuff like that. Like, I don't know what they're gonna be doing with the Waynes to kind of make it connected to the root of Gotham and see how Bruce Wayne can change that. But it's gonna be very interesting because they've kept a lot of that under wraps. Like they haven't kept the parents hiding stuff under wraps, but they've kept uh, what they've been doing under wraps. So. I still don't know what direction they're gonna go in with that. But one thing I did notice in the trailer is that Riddler blows up some areas of the city, which is very reminiscent of The Dark Knight Rises where Bane blows up parts of the city. But also at the same time, 
You notice that there's flooding that happens in the city, which may also be symbolism for something or for a message that he's trying to get across, maybe in the third act, because you also see Batman swimming around in the water carrying a flare. And talking more on Batman, you do get to see a bit more of his gadgets. He has this little grappling gun that pops out from his wrist and he fires it, which is also a reference to another movie that Matt Reeves has taken inspiration from called Taxi Driver, where the main character in there has a gun that flips out of his coat and into his hand and he fires it. So basically they took that idea and kind of ran with it and did it with Batman with his grappling gun. And we do get another shot of this in the prior trailer where he's interrogating the penguin and that thing flips out from his wrist. And the more that I look at this bat suit, the more and more I love it because it's taken inspiration from almost all the bat suits and just ran with it. The tactical side of Christian Bale's bat suit, he has that, the colors of bat flex, he has the colors, the grays are there and the big bat symbol. That was something that was good and very welcome. The ears of Keaton, the front face mask, and stitching patterning of West. This is just a very different, unique bat suit, and it doesn't look perfect, but that's the point. It's because it has a lot of wear and tear, and Bruce is gonna develop it throughout this movie and probably the rest of the series. And yeah, that's basically my breakdown of this trailer. It looks very interesting. It's cool how they show so much in the trailer and you can assume what's gonna happen, but you still don't know completely everything about it. And I still don't know completely everything about it. Even this breakdown, I wasn't even able to tell you exactly what was gonna happen. And that's good because that means I can't ruin anything and nothing's ruined for me either. So I'm excited for this Batman movie. Let me know if you guys are excited. Let me know down below in the comments section. And as always, if you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure you guys follow me right now. I do polls and stuff. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe today to join the Isolation.